Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel Archituber. I'm architect Webvi and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. So from the thumbnail you might have seen, we are going to be discussing about part A drawing tips and question discussion. Okay, so let's just get started. So basically in this PPT, we are going to be discussing about 2D and 3D composition, perspective drawing and uh, some logo designing questions. So basically I have nearly about three, three or four questions each topic and we will be discussing them. I have solution uh, along with the question. So we will be discussing how they have composed uh, the particular question and how you can do it by yourself. And one tip for you all, if you have all of these compositions uh, in front of you, why don't you just practice them? So you will have a great practice session also and you know how you can compose and whichever you know you, even if you want to change something you can change it it is totally up to you let's just get started with 2d compositions now so now let's just start with 2d compositions so let's discuss about design a cup for kindergarten students using the given shapes four squares one circle three triangles and eight rectangles okay so if we discuss first uh, composition they have done a very good job they have kind of made a sculpture or a 3d composition 2d composition uh, which has a house sort of a uh, you know structure going on and it is giving a very colorful uh, situation which is very good for a kindergarten student okay but they are not fulfilling all of these shapes so what I will suggest is what you can do is you can make two triangles over here with the smaller houses right something of that sort or either you can just draw triangles over here then over here or something like that or even um, you can show these kind of windows here again here whatever you can just try it out for yourself Right. Then if you see the second composition, they have done the abstract job, but I think they have, uh, you know, done a very good job at the abstract pattern because they have fulfilled, I think, all of the shapes. I think one rectangle is missing, if I'm not wrong. So you can add a rectangle over here or you can just make a rectangle in this also. OK, it is up to you how you want to make it. But this is a kind of reference that you can make. Discussing about design a photo booth for a wedding. So you can see this uh, kind of similar question was asked previously. Uh, you were asked to design a photo booth for Ram Naomi and Eid festival. So uh, you might have seen in a lot of weddings there are photo booth these days or a selfie booth you can call it. So basically it's a backdrop with uh, decor items included in that and it should be aesthetic enough so people can go there and click a picture right that is the main pur purpose of a photo booth so you have to design something like that sorts so here what uh, they have given is curtains okay which are very nicely placed with photo booth written and flower arrangement wherever needed or wherever it will look aesthetically appealing and then there's a picture uh, or a photo frame there uh, this chair is totally up to you if you if you want to add it if it is a 3d question then you might add the chair but if it is a 2d question you can skip the chair completely it, it can be a 2d composition only okay so let's talk about uh, third question create a signage for railway station with geometric shapes okay so let's just discuss about this uh, basically, whenever you are asked to design a signage, you have to consider that all the signages are very minimum and it should be, uh, you know, that powerful to convey whatever the message they want to convey, right? Let's start with the first question. So, first question is make a 3D composition using four books, two pens, one pen stand and a paper which show light and shadow. So now see how they have composed the books first. Okay, let's discuss that. Four books. So they have stacked two books on one another. And then you have these two books standing. 
okay then there's one pen stand which has pens um they have asked for two pens but you can uh, you know draw more pens as well if you want to but if you if you want to skip you can skip this pen you can skip this pen and you can make it as it is or what i will suggest is you can keep one pen here and one pen here so it looks balanced and then this paper weight is there okay so this is a very nice composition if you look at it right uh, and even also look at the uh, shadow pattern that they have given where there is a shadow near the object it is very darker and as the uh, shadow is fading away it's you know it's making more lighter blend so you have to create a composition like this so try if you can try this now the second 3d composition question five bricks four circular wooden logs six balls are given to you make an interesting 3d dimensional stable composition using these elements and show the effect of light and shadow on the composition so basically uh, see how ai has generated such a beautiful stable composition so first of all let's calculate this is one wooden log second third i cannot see the fourth one but instead of this brick you can just add a wooden log over here right then um five bricks which is 1 2 3 4 and 5 then six balls 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 so they have given a proper stable composition or you can try other kind of composition maybe you can rotate this composition only and you can make such a simple yet elegant composition okay and similar composition to it so try this out and look at the shadow look how uh, the shadows are creating over here then these kind of shadows so try them out it is a very good practice to do if you know the question you can just search on uh, chat gpt or any copilot and just try to make composition and try to practice it okay it will help you in your examination then the third question draw an aesthetic composition using electric bulbs with red orange yellow colors shapes could uh, shape should overlap to each other okay so now the bulb are what made up of glass right so glass are translucent or transparent so you can see uh, through the glass right so you can see how the overlapping is shown over here you can see the overlapping over here and if you see these white patches which are like you know highlighting so that is a glass effect that you can see right and other than that you have red orange and yellow lights so you have to make a proper composition like this or you can you know just hang these lights how you do it in interior design like a chandelier or sort of a thing and then you can make such aesthetic composition fourth question create a composition using four candles a square box and three prisms apply light and shadow it is a very simple kind of a composition if you see they have like shown four candles with shadows they have kind of used scribbling pattern to it okay rather than showing a proper blending so try this also so fifth question prepare a stable 3d composition with one ball two spoons and a napkin is arranged on a table surface so uh, let's assume this is the table surface and then you have the napkin over here see how nicely the napkin is made you can literally feel like it is uh, made up of you know fabric so if you see this curve or uh, this curve which is very like nicely done even the effect over here the spoon where they have kept the spoon the shadow effect how nicely they have done it so you have to keep all of these minute details okay then uh, this year they have asked such kind of questions so many times design a 3d composition using four ceramic pots with floral motifs one cylinder pot cactus and three bottles show source of light from right side 
so if you see they have done like four uh, vases okay which have like flower motifs three bottles with glass effect which we discussed in the earlier question right so you have to try all of such kind of questions uh, so you will be prepared for your examination look how beautifully they have shown the motifs over here right how beautifully they have given the detail of this cactus uh, even the material the glass can be seen this is like ceramic so they have little highlighting elements but at the same time detailing is very nicely done right now coming on to the perspective drawing first question is imagine you are riding a bike on a highway create a scene and show light and shadow so uh, this is a one point perspective drawing right this is your point somewhere here and you have the lines going likewise and then you are making a, a ride over here it's you you have to imagine you are here driving and what will you see okay so you can see the road uh, then the on the both sides of the road what is there if there's a bridge you can show a bridge or you if even if you don't show the bridge it's okay but you can see some kind of trees over here right uh, one or two cars over here so it is up to you how you design it and how you make the detailing out of it right then the second question imagine you are walking on a street draw this scene in one point perspective again it is a one point perspective uh, the point is somewhere here i think here and then you have all these lines right see you have all these lines and one point perspective is very easy i have uh, already a video on that so you can just refer to that video or you can simply try it for yourself and try to make such kind of uh, you know uh, scenes so this is a very easy question and that's why i always ask you to draw um, human figures then trees cars these are the objects you'll be needing for such kind of a question this is a very interesting question imagine you are in a pouch and you can see all the stationary items create a perspective drawing also show a shadow so whatever you can see over here is the uh, pouch or a compass and you are sitting somewhere here okay somewhere here or here and you can see everything which is in the pouch so um you can show pencils pen a uh, marker scale uh, then your eraser sharpener everything of that sorts okay and you can see how beautifully they have created this openness in the compass or a pouch shows that it is a pouch right so try to add such minute details so it looks realistic at the same time then discussing about logo designs so the first question is make logo design for a cafe using circles of different sizes so for the cafe you can show like small cup using the circle so they have divided this circle in two parts right even this is not a complete circle but this is used as a handle then this has been made as a saucer so and this as bubbles right so this might have a coffee a hot chocolate or something and the bubbles are going up okay so it is a very nice composition i like this composition i love this composition so much so you can try something like this in the uh, you know logo design because uh, if nowadays you have seen the cafe logos are very minimalistic they are very aesthetic and they you know have a proper purpose and a design thought behind that so you have to put in some efforts and thoughts whenever you are making a logo then second question draw the logo for a college festival using circles of four different sizes you can use as many as circles you want uh, use four colors to color the composition okay so here the logo is not very like attractive i know but what they have done is they have done different sizes of circles and then very colorful circles so it it gives that uh, illusion of you know festival or if you see the you know uh, firecracker in the sky how it creates a pattern 
they have shown something like that right so it looks festive uh, then design a snack bar logo using two colors and any three shapes so see for the uh, snack bar there is nothing like you cannot show it is totally up to you how you want to show it this is the one way um, which you can show and yes with that we have discussed about 15 to 16 questions in this particular video uh, these uh, images were all ai generated i just wanted you to have a basic idea uh, as per how you can create a logo 2d design 3d design or a perspective drawing i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you have learned uh, from this video and if you do please do let me know in the comment section uh, what are your thoughts on this uh, nata 2025 series and do let me know what more videos should i post on this channel if you like this video you know the drill please like comment share do not forget to subscribe uh, share amongst your architecture aspirant friends and i'll see you in my next video till then please take care and bye subscribe to the channel